All right, so I'm going to be prepping my hair for a wig. I just took my hair out of box braids and it's dirty, it does need to be washed. But I think what I'm going to do is do my cornrows first and then wash my hair. And I hate blow drying my hair. So I am just going to try it this way. I'm gonna braid it first, wash it and deep condition it after. So let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna try to detangle at my roots because there is built up there. But like you can clearly see, especially in the front, you can see the, that my hair is dirty. Maybe I'll do like four or three on each side. No, four or five. I want them to be sm small so that my hair lays flat. And I'm not doing them perfect. I'm just doing like some regular, regular braids.
Of course, if you are enjoying the video so far, definitely go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you do not miss a beat. And make sure you follow me on my other platforms as well. After I finish braiding my hair, I am going to go ahead and shampoo. I started to use this shampoo that I got from Marshalls or Ross or something, but it doesn't suds up the way that I like, so I ended up switching to the Dr. Bronner's later on in the video. The Dr. Bronner's Castell Soap is the all-in-one. I think it has like 15 in one different uses, but when I use it to wash my hair, it really gives it a nice deep clean and it has the perfect amount of suds. So I ended up switching and using that one instead. that i'm going to be going in with the shea moisture shea butter deep conditioning mask as you can see it's very very thick i flipped it over and nothing fell out and that's exactly how i love my conditioner i'm just lathering that all over the cornrows and i'm even going to do the top as well As you already know, I'm going to go in with my handy dandy Bravo plastic bag. I'm going to put my shower cap on top of that and I'm going to go and work out or do something to produce some heat on top of my head because I don't like going underneath the dryer. After that, when I get back, I washed it out and now I'm just going to make sure I absorb as much water as I possibly can so my hair can actually dry. And we're going 
to replenish all that moisture we're gonna add some oil i got this from 10 in 1 hair growth company i believe that's what it's called as a bunch of essential oils and it smells wonderful so i'm gonna make sure i get everything my scalp and my edges then lastly i'm going to add the tgin rx repair leave-in conditioner and it smells really 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 good and i'm just going to lather that all over my hair just like i did with the deep conditioner i am going to use the squishing motion to make sure it soaks in and gets all of my hair strands And that is legitimately it. That is how I prep my hair for my wigs. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and make sure my hair dries before adding on my wig. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you will not miss out on the rest of my content. Ooh.